Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about examples on principle of inclusion and exclusion formula. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the formula. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, these examples are very, very easy. If you understand the formula, the, doing these examples is very, very easy. Just understand the question, it's simply apply the formula. A total of 1232 students taken course in Spanish. So, set A, how many elements are there? 1232 students total. So, they have taken Spanish course. Similarly, 879 taken students taken course in French. So, set B contains 879 elements. Similarly, 114 students taken course in Russian. So, set C contains 114 elements. Similarly, 100 students taken course in Spanish and French, both. Means the intersection of Spanish and French set that contains 100 elements. So, the number of elements in A intersection B, Spanish intersection French is 100. Similarly, 25 students taken course in both Spanish and Russian. Means 25. Spanish and Russian intersection area is 25 elements. Similarly, 12 students taken course in both French and Russian. So, this is what they have provided. If 20, 92 students taken course in at least one of Spanish, French or Russian course. 20, 92 students taken at least. What's that meaning of at least? At least they have taken course in Spanish, French or Russian. What's that mean? A, Spanish, Union, French, Union, Russian. The number of elements that belongs to A union, B union, C is 2092. So, indirectly they have provided that. How many students taken course in all three languages? So, what they are going to ask? A intersection, B intersection, C. That is what they are going to ask. So, from the, from the given question, they have given number of elements in span, the number of students who have taken Spanish course is 1232, number of students who has taken course in French is 879, number of students taken in Russian is 114, Spanish intersection French is 100, Spanish intersection Russian is 25, French intersection Russian is 12, Spanish union French union Russian is equal to 2092. From the given formula, principle of yeah, inclusion and exclusion S union F union R is given as this is what the formula which we discussed in our last class number of elements in Spanish plus number of elements in French plus number of elements in Russian minus number of elements in Spanish intersection French minus number of elements in Spanish intersection Russian minus number of elements in French intersection Russian plus Spanish intersection, French inter intersection, uh, Russian. This is what the formula which we have discussed previously. Just apply the formula 2092 that is equal to, we need to identify this. See, add all this and take to the other side and minus it. You are going to get number of uh, elements that uh, students that present in, uh, means th those who have taken all the Spanish, French and Russian, all the three courses is four students has taken so this is how the examples will be and one uh, for better understanding we will take one more example in a class of 50 students total total number of students given 50 students 20 students play football 16 students play hockey so 20 students play football 16 students play hockey and 10 students play both means they are going to play both the games. Find number of students who play neither, neither of the games. Means those who don't play any of the game. Those are the students we needed. It was given the number of students who play football, number of students who play hockey, number of students who play both. Both means A intersection B. If you identify A union B, what's the meaning of that? A number of students who are playing any one of the game. 
that is what we need to identify in the beginning then we have to go we have to subtract that with the total amount let's take the example number of students who play football is 20 who play hockey is 16 who play football intersection hockey is 10 by the principle of inclusion and exclusion number of students who play any one of the game is given as f plus h minus f intersection h that is 20 plus 16 minus 10 that is 26 so these 26 students are going to play any one of the game but we need the students who don't play any of the game means those who not involved in the game is total minus 26 that is 24 so 24 students not involved in any of the game so these are these are the types of examples which we are going to get in our uh, exams uh, hope you understand these examples uh, if you have any questions regarding the concept uh, please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you